Hello and thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes educational channel. In this video we are going to consider that you have already been given the flip-flop input functions and all you're trying to do is to find out the state sequence so that you may draw the state diagram, discover the unused states and determine if the device is self-correcting or not. So there are our flip-flop input functions. What are we going to do with them? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to draw this strange looking table where we have the present state on the extreme left and the next state on the extreme right. And in between, we are going to write those input functions in terms of what they actually mean. Okay, so we arrange our state uh, on the left in the normal order, 0 to 7. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the columns of the input functions. So watch closely. Notice there where we have BC, JA is BC, which is an AND function of B and C. So we look where B and C are both one. Then uh, we can quickly fill in the JB and uh, the JC because those are just one. So they will be one for all possible inputs. Okay, so we have quickly done the first three on the JA, JB and JC. So now we look at the KA, and that is C bar. So we look at C, and uh, we write for the KA the exact opposite. Where there's a 0, we write a 1. Where there's a 1, we write a 0, all the way down to the bottom. So we come now to the KB. And we see that the KB is just an XOR function in A and C. So we look now in the input there, the present state, and where, wherever we see that we have a 0 and a 1 is where we put our 1s. If we have two 1s, I mean a 1 on both the A and the C, or a 0 on both the A and the C, then it's not a 1. It has to be a 1 on either the A or the C. And that happens for those four combinations. All right, so we come now to the KC, and we see that that's an XNOR gate in A and B. So we're going to be looking at A and B to see where both A and B are either 0 or 1 together. It's the exact opposite of the XOR. So you can see where we have put on the ones there for the KC. We have two zeros in both A and B at the top. And we have two ones in both A and B at the bottom. So both the A and B have to be a zero or both the A and B have to be a one. So study it carefully and you should be good to go. So it only remains now for us to fill in all the zeros in between the ones. Now what are we going to do with this now that we've gotten it? Well the first thing we have to do is we have to use the JK truth table to be able to fill out our next state of A, B and C. And uh, looking there now we're just going to go a step at a time in slow motion. We've got 0, 1 on the J and the K. 
So we put a zero for the A there as shown in the orange. Now we have a one zero on the JB and KB. So we put a one there now on the B as shown in the green. Then finally, we have a 1-1 one, one on the JC and the KC as shown in the red. So we have to look back at the present state of C. And we see that the present state is a 0. So we write down a 1 as shown in the red. Aren't colors wonderful? I thought you would agree with me. So now, uh, the last one we're going to do is the zero, zero, which means no change. So we have a zero, zero on the J, A, and K as shown in the blue. And so we look at the present state and we see that it is a zero as shown in the blue square on the left. So we put back a zero there for the next state of the A flip-flop. So now you can study all of that carefully while we fill out the rest. Okay, so the rest are filled out using the same principle as we had there. So what do we need to do now? Well, we just need to be able to draw the cycle. Starting from 1, we see that 1 goes to 2, and that 2 goes to 3, and that 3 goes to 5, and that 5 goes to 7, and that 7 goes to 6, and that 6 goes back to 1. And we see that by looking here, the 6 going to the 1 over in the next, so that's pretty straightforward. 6 to 1 in the diagram and in the table. The table, okay? So now we need to draw our two unused states. And we can see that they go, by looking at the table, we can see that they both go to 3. Both 0 and 4 go to 3. So you must always put your unused states on your state diagram as well. You have to have all 8 states on your state diagram. So we can see the cycle there now and we know that those are unused states because... They are not part of the cycle. The cycle for any three flip-flop is going to have five states at the very minimum. Because if you wanted a cycle with four states, you wouldn't have to use three flip-flops. You could do it with two. So if you have three flip-flops, then you're going to be using at least four five of those states in a valid cycle. So you can have at most three unused states. Here we only have two. And finally, we answer the question about whether it's a self-correcting device or not because if it was not a self-correcting device, the unused states would not return to the cycle. Okay, so this one is self-correcting because the unused states return to the cycle. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.